Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. We're sat over at our Portalsville up Lamore. And uh, I currently have our train parked in the portal. So that we can add another, uh, another train on this line. And get it somewhat attractive for our AI. Although they're all just busy walking around going to shops and stuff. They won't take cars. The asset placed AI, the standard village placed AI, will, or town, well it's a village here isn't it, and uh, yes, they might, might drive, as you'll see shortly, I've extended the road, we have a bit of a connection now, all the way from our portal town, village, I just called it a village, and then I call it a town, but anyway, yes, we have a connection, I've been Hard at work, getting it all sorted for us for today. Today, I would actually like to extend the line a little bit past Newton. Yeah, the other end. We're going to work on the rest of the map as we continue to expand our layout. So UI up, it's, it's going to be a busy one. You can already start to see some of the uh, scenery in the background there. And some of what I've done over there. It doesn't look much at the moment, but we'll uh, we'll take a look as we head down there. The AI have let me down. They were driving after I just finished it. A couple of people did decide to drive down the uh, oh the A something. As someone gets in their cab again, although is that the same person that heads off up there somewhere? Yeah, there we go. I don't know what you're doing. You must stop somewhere up there, then turn around. You do you. I mean, why not? It's an option, isn't it? Should we go and take a look at what I did? We'll follow our road down. There we go. Uh, this is a working progress. That sort of building is there. I, I found some assets that are acceptable. They should be white. But this is going to be all finished up. And we should see it a little bit. On cab rides. So definitely worth having at least the buildings in there. Then. Over. To. Uh, this is Nielsen now. You'll see this is looking a little better. Uh, this is going to be all finished up. There's going to be a few more buildings out this way as well. I've got this building in. It does look like it was an old depot. Or, or shed of sorts. And would connect back up to the track over there. Probably a little higher than it should be. Uh, this is going to be detailed up with a few cars in and a car park area. And then a wall along here. There's someone driving. There we go, along our road. So, yeah, you'll see some cars when we take a cab ride up here from the portal. It's good news, isn't it? Oh, they're turning that way. They're heading out of town. Town, I've called it a town again. Heading out from the village on this road instead, which would make sense. As some of them do drive down here. It's probably going to prove me wrong, but here we go. We are connected now from Neilston. The main, main roads are in. Now we now branch off from this roundabout and see another car. Or van. Heading back up to uh, the portal. This is probably a little higher than it should be, but our terrain and the way we're squished in. I mean, it's got to be up there, hasn't it? We could lower it technically, but that would cause all sorts of issues trying to make that work. I think this works though. It's going to be nice on cab rides. You're going to get a good view. Possibly across the houses here, which more than likely will be another AI area. And uh, you'll probably see the train passing at times. That'll be a bit of fun. Yeah, this is starting to fill out nicely, isn't it? Will we do this? Absolutely, possibly, maybe not. It would be nice to get this connected in. Oh, I almost forgot. I've got a little marker in here. You'll see we've got buses. There are There is a bus that I've researched that runs down here. And I've put the last stop just here. So yes, over here we've unfortunately got a massive tree that's appeared. Because I've just realised... The AI are spawning within our buildings, I guess because we don't have uh, collision on, or train on. 
that's a little bit awkward. As long as it doesn't crash it. That I mean, I kind of don't mind. It's more AI, isn't it, over here? And it's not really a thing we need to worry about. I've called this 395 Terminus. There is a bus that runs uh, from here. And that's what I've called that to remind myself. Even though, I will admit, I thought I named the bus stop the 395 Terminus. But anyway, it doesn't matter as long as something's called that. If we head over here, the 395 is going to run all the way down to East Kilbride. Yes, we'll get that in doing its full route. I think we've got every town on the map as well and village that it's going to pass through. So I'm looking forward to that. We'll have a nice bus running that. Or a few buses, it might get a little busy. Uh, it sort of cuts across, doesn't it? Although people could use it to swap lines, possibly, depending on where it goes. We'll have to have a look at that further but this end of uh on this side of scotland this end it would be the end wouldn't it the southern end of uh well the glasgow area the central belt area is is starting to come together another car over there should we get another train on that line that's what the plan was so that's why i've held it just here we'll click on you and manage vehicles i could have clicked it right there and we'll just clone clone all vehicles yes please i do want to clone all one vehicles right let's head over that's going to be coming out of the depot hopefully are you coming out of uh, palmer d depot there we go so we've now got two of those running hopefully we don't see any issues at glasgow central we are going to uh, have a go at putting the the hidden class 318 on and we're going to have a, a little look at it. Ah, yes. <laughs> Mind your ears. That, that is loud, isn't it? It's fine, though. Once it heads off into the distance, it doesn't sound too bad. Oh, I just realised. I put a 156 in the sidings. That was a coincidence. There we go. Right, once he heads up to Glasgow Central, we'll set the other one off in motion. But it'll be nice to see how trains are moving in and out of Glasgow. I haven't done much with this just yet. This may all change soon. It's the reason there's no bridge yet. If we need to shuffle a few switches around, uh, we may need to rebuild some of the bridge, which is why I've not detailed it up to the maximum. We may need to widen it or shorten it. I don't know yet. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. But there's no point spending forever and eternity detailing up the bridge and then having to change it. This end, I, th I think we're just sitting with that now. Oh, here we go. You are looking a little rough, aren't you? I'd like to replace you. <laughs> we could just stick his maintenance up to maximum, couldn't we? Uh, manage vehicles. Yeah, I think so. Where do you do that? How do you play the game? Manage... Where do you set the main... Oh, it's here, isn't it? Uh, configure maintenance. There we go. Apply. We'll get you uh, nice and shiny. How long is it going to take for you to get like, nice and shiny? And then we'll take it back off again. Since we haven't got money to worry about just yet. Are we making any money? Not that it matters. Well, not really. <laughs> it's not good. Uh, okay, we might make a decent amount. We've got a lot to pay for. Because we are paying for the privilege of having all this beauty. Concrete beauty. On the map. If we have this on, you'll see... An enormous amount of red numbers appearing all over the map because every bit of uh, road we own we're paying for that the signals the gantries uh, a lot of these houses in fact i think all of these houses that i've manually placed all come with a cost so it's kind of a hard mode it's not a free free game we don't get punished for being in the red but it's going to be very very tricky I would say, to get this working. <laughs> Very tricky. <laughs> to make a profit, that is. Okay, where's our train? Are you, are you already heading back? 
No, that's the bar head train. Perfect. Right, let's send this one off on its way. I missed it, didn't I? There we go. Can we uh, can we get the train? Where's the train? There you are. No, you're gone. There we go. Get you going. I think you're going to wait there for a couple of minutes. Well, that should have people starting to board. Oh, there we go. People getting on board. How many people are on there? 11 of 60. Some of the balancing of the trains is a bit off. Because you've got these that carry 60, which I believe would be the correct one for the, the scale of the game and the scope of the game. Uh, that's the same, isn't it? Yeah, 60. But the 170s, they've gone for the, uh, I believe, the real number. Or closer to the real number. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, 155. Which doesn't work very well. If you... Uh, then add a mod that does it across the board. So, yeah, we're probably going to have to just pay through the nose for the 170s when we put them in where they're supposed to be. I don't think they're going to run down here from what I've read. We're going to have different ones running that. I wouldn't mind having the 318s in today, though. But should we extend the line? Dear, oh dear. I, do, I like watching the map though. It's great. We haven't seen over here for a while. Now, this train, I don't think we're going to stop here eventually. It's going to be one of the uh, West Coast mainline trains and it's just going to head to wherever it heads. I'm pretty sure it'll go straight through here. That's got some great sound effects. I love that. There it goes. That's off to Newton. I don't think it'll stop at Newton either. Is it Newton? Yeah, Newton needs some love. Currently, it's a sort of an exchange. Uh, people will get on off this train and then swap to go on the line back up to the uh, the circle, Cathcart Circle. Charlotte Smith. There's a bit of a... Everybody got the same wardrobe today. Unless it's a uniform, of course, and then that would explain that. This is where we're going to be extending from, guys. We're going to be heading up that way uh, we could do with having the river come out here but we may need to do that a little bit later because it's all the way back there and that's going to take some doing okay so we've got a job on our hands haven't we we do need to make a bridge and it looks like this is going to be it i don't know how high we are here we'll go and take a look in the at the map shortly at what we're doing we might be able to get a rough idea of where the the River Clyde's supposed to go. It's going to wiggle down here. And then about there does look good. And it's only 14 metres. I mean, it's going to have a bit of an embankment. But how much of an embankment? Uh, let's just lower that. Get this shoved right up. How much lower would we need to go to make a river? I mean, 14 metres is quite a lot, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be way too much. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. It might work if we put that in as our river, where the bridge is going to be. Yes, and then we make it not look as terrible. Let's give it a little bit of a, a slope instead of a, a solid side there. We might get away with it, guys. It would be nice, because it doesn't matter how deep we make the actual river itself. Deeper the better, right? So it looks good. Yeah, and then it would scoot off that way, I guess, somewhere. We'll see. We'll see, guys. It looks like it's still going to be a possibility at the moment to have actual water running down here. I'm going to use the uh, feathered edge one. It, it sometimes does a better job as it doesn't. Of course you don't. Uh, we'll just go gently across. I don't know why I gently touch the mouse button. It's not like it's uh, it's going to change what it does on the map. No, you can just hold it, Grand. It's a nice bridge. In fact, there's two bridges. Should we look at the map? Okay, there we go. We're at Nilston, and we're going to head off this way. And hopefully we come to the River Clyde. There we go. It does head off that way, then scoots around. I, yes... It looks like that is roughly what's happening, doesn't it? When we were following that line across. Yeah, and we've, we're up here. We would need to wiggle all the way down. Uh, do some wiggling there, then here. It's a little closer to Udderston than I've got it. 
That is the station we're adding though. Uddeston. It's a fairly straightforward station. We'll make it the 160 since we're out away from the uh, inner city stations now. That we have decided are going to be 80. Half the size of these. We could go 120 as well. Actually, what is the size? We could find out, couldn't we? Let's get a rough idea. Measure the distance from there to about there. 140. Isn't that... Oh, no, well, I think we can make 140. They're in blocks of 20, aren't they? There we go. 140. We'll have it the actual size. Even though technically we're half scale, it should be 70. But then our trains should be smaller as well. So we can't do it like that. Yeah, I feel like I've got this a little too far away. It needs to be much closer to the to the station, which is a little bit unfortunate. Maybe we can get away with it. What we have, though, is we can continue there. We've got the M74 going over the top. Another junction here. And then uh, building materials place. Maybe, just maybe, that could be our first industry. And we could just have that as a conmats industry, a working one. There's one thing I'm not sure about with this. This whole situation here is you can get onto the main line. But then, I can't find another crossover, so you'd have to ride up the down and down the up. Or one of the, one of the ways. Because I can't find the crossover back over. We may need to improvise a little bit because of the way we've got to do it on Transport Fever. Then we've got Bell Shill, or Bell's Hill. Bell's Hill or Bell Shill? And, uh, oh, I thought that was a, a level crossing then. It is not. And after Bell's Hill, or Bell Shill, uh, we've got a lovely, lovely junction coming up. And that's going to be the next episode. But I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. We're the huge D.B. Schenker yard up here. Which we can probably do some great action. Maybe some sort of exchange. Maybe goods as well. I might have a look on the workshop for an advanced industry so we could build our own industries rather than have just the uh, plain ones but there we go there we go that's what the plan is today to at least get to Uddingston Udding, <laughs> Uddingston dear oh dear we're gonna have to move the River Clyde though I think a little bit closer or do we or do we or well no because we've got this bit up here what we do have to fit in is after this junction is the other yard thing I think we'll be okay just here. I think that uh, balances it quite nicely because we could have the station a little closer that way. And it would be nice to get some houses in. Yes. I'll draw out this river. There's actually quite a lot to go, isn't there? Yeah, definitely. Right, should we get the bridges in? Oh, we never looked at the bridges, guys. I'm... Oh, I'm... There we go. There's the bridges. Uh, this one looks to be as though this was quad tracked at some point in history, or they've moved the tracks across, which they wouldn't do. Not very likely, anyway. They may have done. And then uh, the one we've got is a uh, red girder, by the looks of things. Not girder, the Chrissy Cross thing. I know the names. Oh, that's interesting. What's going across there? Oh, little pedestrian thing. We can do those, I think. Uh, but yeah, we'll definitely put this in. Will it look the same? Unlikely. I don't think we can do it with invisible track. I will try. I'll try and get it in because it's there, isn't it? At least I think it would still be there these days. But yes, there's our bridges. Lovely stuff. Now we can continue. <laughs> Lots to talk about. I can't remember the speeds up here. Luckily, we have a tool <laughs> that can tell us. What have we been doing is it 70? 90, I believe it's supposed to be, yeah. We'll take it at 90. We can always change it at any point. And where's 90? 90 there. It would be nice for some of our trains to get up to speed, wouldn't it? So we're going to just come across and... Can we stay... Yeah, if we stay flat, I think that's going to be perfect for us. We do need the bridge to be perfectly straight because if we need to craft it manually, it's going to make our lives a lot easier, isn't it? So if we go across like that, you see if we can't select us the bridge. I don't really. Oh, what's going on here? There are filters. Oh, well. 
That's awesome. This is brilliant, isn't it? Oh, good job. Absolutely amazing. Oh, I'm so happy. This is brilliant. I would like these, but we don't have them in red. We have them in green. They're not really the right ones. It would be them anyway. We have them in green. Well, green might work. It's the right style of bridge, isn't it? We don't have an option. I don't think for the red ones. Other than the... Where is it? These. Well, that does work, doesn't it? A little excessive. The other ones would have been better, but in green. And, but in this colour, in red. I think I like the idea of it being the correct colour, though. Should we do it? This wouldn't be here, would it? Possibly not. Now, the other thing we can do, though, is it definitely had tracks heading the other side. So perhaps we can do that. I hope. Is it straight? It is absolutely perfectly straight. We go across there. There was this, which did come in red. And we can manually put in the feet. And I like it. It's the orangey colour. Yes. We've got to figure out how to hide the track. The, the, there is the invisible track, but it does some strange things with bridges. Uh, we could just have ballast, couldn't we? And then hide the ballast. That might do the trick. We go with that one. And we just do that instead. Take off the catenary. Because uh, it's a bit shiny. But what we could do is put some sort of concrete layer over the top. You don't get to see the fancy of the bridge. I'm not entirely sure how it would work with the invisible track. There's only one way to find out. I should be testing stuff like this. How does it look? Well, it's a flat thing anyway. You can't see it. It sort of works, doesn't it? Sort of, kind of. It. I mean, it's not bad, actually. Yeah, we could hide it a little bit. I mean, we could maybe take this bit out, just have the bridge floating, and then detail the rest up. That's kind of fantastic, isn't it, guys? I mean, you got the blue bits here, but we can hide that, and then we can do something with the middle here. I love it. We've got it in. Right. What did we say? This is going to be 140 station. Let's get us a station in. Our UK stations, wherever you are. Right, two. We don't have 120, but we can add uh, 140, but we can add as another section. And that should take it to uh, 120, I think. 140. Stop saying 120. If we add you in there, would 120 just do it? If I. Well, I should maybe draw this straight and see what sort of height we're at. Uh, you can't just go plonking your, your station in there, Grand. Uh, how does that look, though, if we do have it just run straight? Well, maybe. Does it head down? I'm not sure. I mean, it's in a bit of a bit of a cutting thing there. I would say not. I'm going to raise it up a touch. If we bring this out perfectly straight and we get a rough idea, yeah, I want it kind of at that height, ideally. We're going to have it just there. We'll put it in. We'll get us our flattening tool. Our leveling tool. Go for something nice and square. We'll get us a little bed to sit on. There we go. We might as well do it where all the, the area is. There is a little tunnel here. So this is perfect. If we go from there. And we do a little bit of smoothing. Will that bring it all up? Ideally, that will be what happens when we take it off. There we go. Perfect. That should be... At roughly the right height now. Let's get our station back in. And do we want it longer? I'm unsure now, to be fair. I'm trying to think how long this station is and this one. I think they're 120. Things cross platform. How's that looking? Is that too much? It feels like a smaller station. Yeah, I'm going to take them off. We can always extend it later. Although... I may be detailing it, so unsure. Your thoughts, guys. An extra... Or oh, these 40. These might be 40. They're not 20, are they? Yeah, that'll take it way past. 
I've got it. <laughs> We're keeping it as is. As for the station itself, it has a very nice big building over here. Um, passenger buildings. Can we replicate it? I think so, to a degree. If we go something like that and then add the... Where's our smaller versions? Our little tiny ones. And we get that along there. That's close. That's fairly close. I like it. That's probably the closest we've got to a station building. In fact, it might want to go across one. I'm, since it looks so beautiful, I'm going to skip it down one. I'll show you on the map, guys, once we've got the building up. There we go. And there is a, a crossover walkway. Hopefully it's just in the right place since we've made this off-center. Where's our blue? Blue old. Oh, they're slightly in the wrong place. We'd have to shove it down even further. This'll do. This'll do. It's close enough. Oh, although they're, they're more like the red ones that we had. Is it these? I think so. It's definitely more like that. But in blue. And a solid side. But I'm, I'm not going to be fussy. I think that'll do us quite nicely. On the other side, there is another... An entrance, by the looks of things, and a little hut. Um, but if we go down here, let me just look at this. And I do this. That's not bad, is it? I like it. Yes, close enough. Right, we'll leave that like that then. We just need to connect up from the bridge over to the station so it's nice and smooth. Uh, tracks, 90. Patinery is on. Get you connected up there. Then we're going to be following this around. I'm going to keep you dug into the ground, I think, and have a little bit of a an embankment. Because then we're coming up to our junction here. See, if you follow the terrain, it's not going to work quite right. But this makes it easier for us to get our motorway over the top there. I'm happy with it. I am happy. We're going to have some bridges in. And some buildings around there to make it look the part. We're going to have our first industry earlier than I uh, than I anticipated. That is good news. I'm saying earlier than anticipated. <laughs> this was supposed to be a short series, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, earlier than anticipated would have been five episodes ago and we'll be getting towards the end. Instead, I've gone big, very big. I'm sort of happy with it though. I'm, I'm happy I've chosen big. Get you sorted. We'll sort the bridges out a little bit later. I love this. I love that this works. Right. I'm going to tidy this up because this runs a little bit further down there. And we don't have that operational at the moment. And I wouldn't mind it being operational. Uh, we're going to have it as five mile an hour. And I would like it to go more like this instead. Because we're going to run that other track along it a little bit further up. Not at that speed, though. I don't know what speed this would be. 30? I'm going to go with 30. I don't know what speed. No, I'm going to go 40. If we hold C, I think that's the new shift, isn't it? Yes. Up to here. And then we'll, we'll cut in at 40. And then we'll cut in again at 40. There we go like that a little closer to the bridge but i like it and then we can tidy it up from this point so it goes off at a better angle uh, not that close something like that should do it and then up to there better then we can smooth this out more official episode and, uh, there we go there's our connection i love it and we need some signals don't we Probably just standard signals. We're just going to place them in for now. And change where our main our train goes. Uh, the one that's doing the exchange. We're going to have to put another one that goes up that way, aren't we? This should be one way. I'm going to put them in as I see fit at the moment. I'm going to put this as a standard one. And not one way. Because I'm pretty sure this is bi-directional, this piece of track. Do we have one here? I don't know how that would work in in game terms. So I'm I'm possibly going to leave it. 
We can have another one up here, though. Which ones am I having? Are these the three signal? Yes. I'm going to have another one up here. Not that, though. They're not those. Not gantries. Put it on one way. I'm going to have one just there. Beautiful. There we go. I like that. That should deal with that junction quite nicely. And in preparation, I guess we'll have another signal at the end here, one way, and then another one at the end there. It does have a station road, which is going to be a little bit further away from the station than it should be. It's only a small road. Oh, we'll go with... Uh, no, it's got cars parked on it, so not double yellows. Go with something like that. Perfect. There we go. You're going to go up that way. You do actually raise up, I believe, past the station. Because we've got a bridge over there somewhere. Which sort of works, doesn't it? It may need to be quite a bit steeper than that. And this needs to be shorter, given that. Because we'll run out of room otherwise, won't we? Oh, and I got it in first time <laughs> before I had to adjust it. Oh, dear. Right. If we get you like that, and we just go straight up, will that do it for us? I guess we can get the height of the road going over and then go from there. Where do we want it? Somewhere like... That should be nice. So we need to go over the top and then have enough room to go underneath. Meaning, let's dig us a little trench. And we just need to make sure we're above the catenary here. One like that. And then go across. Yes, maybe. It is a, a concrete-ish ish bridge, so I like it. The question is, what can we get under there? Wow. Anybody surprised that I got that spot on? No, I am. Dear, oh dear. It's more of an angle, though. That's unfortunate. I'm not going to mess with it. I'm just putting it in. Guys, <laughs> it went in. Would you believe it? I mean, that's the thing. We can change the angle here. Uh, we want it a little smoother than that. In fact, if we go like that here, I don't know. How I managed to fluke this, I really don't. You go in there. And then we've got another road, which heads off. We want a bit of space. This is going to head off that way. And down from there. There we go, beautiful. And then if you can come down from this point, it'll be great. We want you straight off here. Like that, yes. And we do want you a little straight in there, otherwise you get the weird lip. A little bump. Can you get down so that we can have a car park at the end? Doesn't matter how steep this is, really. It's an, a pretty much an access road, isn't it? Oh, yes. Do you know what we need? Before you do any of that, there's another, there's another connection. And a little shelter on the other side. We'll put that in there. You just fit in, in between it. It's lovely. I don't mind if this, actually, I, yeah, I don't mind if that doesn't reach. I'm going to put another one that side as well. The reason I say that is because it's not worth messing, is it, to get this down to meet that. What we can do is add pavements and get it functional that way. There we go. But that should give us a little parking area just here. So we'll paint that, oops, paint that the right colour. We do have parking roads, whether they're ideal or not. I think that's a little bit cheaty. I mean, we could get away with it. It's a, it's an idea. I don't know how that would work with everything that's going on here. Especially connecting to it. Do you know, what have you not done all episode? I have not saved it. Right, guys, saved. Can we connect you? No. No, it would have been nice, wouldn't it? it? I don't think... Well, it does do it. So can we just delete that and bring it off the back, possibly? I mean, we could paint it as well and just make our own. Can we send that up to the station? Perfectly flat. And then instead, we have a smaller road. If this road fits in... Well, <laughs> I'd kind of take that. We're connected to the station as well. 
if we can get that connected just straight from the road, I'll do it. Do you know how happy I am right now? Get it smoothed out a little bit. Get you in there. Get rid of this and that. Are we connected that side? There we go. Now, can you go up there? I hope so. Oh, you're beautiful. I cannot believe it, but we've got a thing going on. I love it. I'd like to bring that out at the sides. That's not going to be like that. It's going to be... And we're going to have a bit of a gap along the side of the track here uh, to have some shrubbery and stuff. And then this is probably just going to head down to the right height. And we'll smooth that out. Put any buildings in, possibly. I do like it so far. A lot. Okay, we'll just smooth that out for now. Lots of official episode. We just want a gentle embankment. That's what I'm aiming for. And that is flat, as far as I remember. Get that all smoothed out. And then we'll extend. We'll extend our faster train. Maybe take a ride on that. All the way up here. Do I want to take a look at the 318? I have not tested it. And since I've got this in, should we double save? We are double saved. I am going to put in a temporary crossover here to make our lives a bit easier. A little bit away from the station. Because I don't know how long the train is. So we'll, we'll keep it like that for now. And what was I going to do? Yes, we was going to put a 318 on. I'm going to replace one of the Nielsen track. Well, they, I think they run the Cath... No, no, they do run up to Nielsen, don't they? Replace you with... Are they they're hidden somewhere in here. 318s, Scott Rail. So, is this an actual 318 or is it a 150 pretending to be a 318? Shall we see? Is that... Oh, it looks cool. Is that a Class 3? No, it says 150 on it, Grant. <laughs> well, there we go. It's a 150, not a 318. Should we put it on anyway and have a look at it? Is that sound like a diesel to you? Is that a diesel with a with a pantograph? Hey, that's new. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Is the 318 an electric version of a 150 then? But without the diesel. Yeah, that's a that's a diesel, isn't it? Well, we'll leave him in temporarily. And we'll remove him next episode. He looks cool, and it sounds great, but it's not what it's supposed to be. We're off to Crawford. It does look amazing, though, doesn't it? I'm pretty impressed with that model. Well, there we go. A fake <laughs> 318, not even close. Uh, it's a diesel 318 with a, pa with a pantograph. Well, there's our train. There we go. Right, let's grab you. Manage vehicle. Typically, I manage vehicle when what I wanted this time was manage... Oh, you can click it there, Gwen. There we go. Yes, manage line. After Newton. I believe you stopped there for a while. But what I'd like you to do now is just head up there. And, ooh. Ooh, do you know what we could do? Can you see it? I'm going to take that out. I've got an idea, guys. I'm going to put it after canvas lang, so we do actually go past in one direction, and then we stop on the way back like that. There we go. That works. Lovely. Yes, there we go. Perfect. I mean, we're going all the way back, unfortunately, but this works for me as a temporary measure. That's not what it's going to do. We might have a service that does that eventually. That'd be kind of cool. I'm looking forward to that long old bus route as well that heads up to... Uh, East Kilbride, that would be fantastic. Where's our train? Are you just coming in? Because you're going to pause, aren't you? I'm going to get on board this, guys. That did some weird shenanigans, didn't it, round there? The game kind of lagged and made it look like it scooted. But I'm happy. I am super happy. We've got no errors to report. So our, our trains are not facing off yet. 
thanks to uh, some shenanigans I did on the junction up here in the previous episode that I talk, spoke about. I guess what my job is, while we wait for that to go up there, is extending the River Clyde because we're at, we're at a decent level, aren't we? And we can just wiggle up there. And what we've got to do next, uh, from a distance, you can see the blue thing. We can hide that, I think. I might have to change this and just have it as ballast or something and build on top of it. But yes, distracted. I'll finish off the River Clyde in this bit, which would be really good anyway. We could extend that, but what I'd like to do is, in the next episode, put in this station, which I can't remember. I can't even remember what this one is. I haven't named it. It's not Upper Camber Slang, is it? Let's name this one correctly before we go. It's a good job I I uh, got distracted. Uddingston. There we go. Is that spelled correctly? It is. Is it pronou pronounced correctly? I don't know. I almost mispronounced pronounce. And then with I either cut, Bells Hill or Bells Hill. I'm going to run with Bells Hill. And that means it's bound to be Bells Hill. Uh, we've got a lovely junction to do. That's what we're doing. This stretch here with a nice big junction. And we've got another junction there and here. And uh, we've got a station there as well. Is that Motherwell? That might be. That might be Motherwell. We've got a big old DB Schenker to do. And we've got our first industry to put in. I'll take a look on the uh, on the web. On the web? On the workshop. Well, I mean the workshop is on the web, but that's not what I meant. And we'll get that in. Shall we see if our train's um, making its way back out so we can get on board? No, look at that for timing. Oh, I think you've changed platforms. It doesn't matter because this isn't a real service yet. It will be. We'll have as many as possible running out here. Fear not. Are you going to go? Guys, there we go. We're on board our um, random service that's doing all the things at the moment. Uh, currently heading to our new station. We haven't been down this way in a while. Things are starting to change. You can even see in the distance there where we have been working on the last few episodes. I do want to finish this bridge. I really do. And I still didn't do that front. That just reminded me. I shouldn't sit on this train. I just reminded myself what I was supposed to do. Not drawing roads over near Uplamore. Well, the roads have to go in at some point, don't they? Yeah, we've, we've still got this all to tidy up. There's no... Leave it, Gran. Whatever happens, we'll do it eventually. But uh, big build coming up next time out. Uh, it'd be Sundays, wouldn't it? Uh, for Sunday, we're going to be doing a fancy junction. And a new station. Bells Hill. Bells Hill. Either, either, or. No, it's one of them. And I'm sure you'll let me know. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. And until next time. Take care.